Hi, I'm feeling great. Thank you so much. It's very hot here at Fuji Rock, but it's my first time playing um, this festival and I've heard so much about it, so I'm excited to be here. It's, um, it's so beautiful to be here in the valley. Like it's, I, when I got out of the car, I almost couldn't really believe my eyes because the shape of it is so stunning. Um, and I haven't gotten to see the festival grounds yet, but I can't wait to. Um, you can expect a lot of music off my new album, Desire I Want Tur to Turn Into You, um, from me and my incredible band. And we're gonna be joined by a special guest today. The thing is, I've never really spoken Japanese, even though um, I lived here for six years as a child. Um, I spoke it when I was really, really little and then lost it when I um, went to English speaking school and then moved back to the US. But the cool thing is it phonetically really stuck with me. So the sounds all feel very familiar. Um, and translating some of my old band Chairlift's music into Japanese was really fun. Um, all of my memories from living here are really a child's memories. So I remember like kakigori and like the slugs and the cats in the aquarium. Um, I remember the big crows. For a child, the crows just seemed so big to me. Um, and I remember getting, um, getting taught how to make mochi in school and I remember the earthquake drills. Um, so all sorts of, you know, kinds of things a child would remember. I was, I was in love with the, uh, the anime uh, Kurimi Mami, <laughs> uh, which was like an 80s anime about this, um, this little schoolgirl who has this secret ability to become a pop star. So maybe that was aspirational. Well, I think, you know, you, one's entire life inspires you ultimately. Um, I've been very inspired in my set design, particularly on this album cycle. Um, with actually traditional Japanese composition style, with you know dealing with asymmetry and shadow and playing with landscape, um, and I was looking at a lot of traditional Japanese woodblock prints actually for designing my current live show, which you'll see today. The thing I was looking forward to the most was eating, um, and I've been eating my little heart out since I've been here. Um, I think my favorite meal so far was actually in Koenji yesterday. And I was out with my band doing some vintage shopping and we passed by this yakitori stand that was just very casual. Um, there were tables propped up with traffic cones and like everything was really inexpensive, but we just had like a million rounds of just beer and different kinds of yakitori on the street and my hair smelled like charcoal and it was just the most beautiful evening. So that was very special for me. So Wise Blood and I have been kind of part of the same music scene since I think we met for the first time in 2014, so almost 10 years ago in Brooklyn. And we played a, a few shows together actually back in that time. And we were both very different artists at that time. Um, I had a project called Ramona Lisa at the time and um, she was still kind of on the fringes of a more noise experimental scene. So yeah, we've lived many lives in music together and, um, and we both live in LA now. We're no longer in New York. So we meet up sometimes and go hiking and and talk about you know just how it is, especially right now because both of our albums came out around the same time. So it kind of feels like we're two moms who have children of the same age, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Caroline Palachek here. Um, I just want to give a huge shout out to my Japanese listeners because this is my first time coming to Japan as Caroline Palachek and playing these songs for you guys. And I can't wait to see you all here today at Fuji Rock. So much love. Arigatou gozaimasu.